In this video, we will solve for the problems from exercise 1.2. Question number 2. Let x equal to a, b, c, d and let r be a set of all a, a, b, b and a, c. Write down the minimum number of ordered pairs to be included to r to make it first reflexive second symmetric the transitive and fourth is equivalence relation so given to us x is equal to a b c d and r is a set of all ordered pairs a comma a b comma b a comma C. Now first we need to include what are the elements required or the ordered pairs required to make it reflexive. So let's do some rough work here. Now for reflexive you need A, B, C, D, right? So you need A or A B R B C R C D R D, which means you need to have the ordered pair A A B B C C and D D. So what's missing? Your C C and D D are missing. Therefore, to make R the set R reflexive. we need to add or you can say include cc and d d next for the second one which is to make it symmetric for symmetric if a is related to a then Again, A is related to A. I mean, if this A is related to this A, then this A is related to the first original A. Okay. So, now you have, so this is symmetric. B or B is symmetric from the two relationships given here. Now, you have A comma C, which means A is related to C. So, then... If it is symmetric, this should mean that C is related to A. Therefore, we need to include C comma A. So to make it R symmetric, we need to include C comma now for the transitive. So for transitive, the given condition is, let's do some rough work here. A is related to B and B is related to C. Then A will be related to C. A is related to C. Okay. Now we have here AA and AC. The four here you see A is related to A and then you also see that A is related to C. The 4, A should be related to C, which is already here. The 4, this relationship is already transitive. So you can say nothing to be included for transitive. Now, the last one, which is equivalence relationship. So, for equivalence relationship, you should have all the three conditions satisfied, which is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So, let us now define our R, including all the elements that we have included for reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So, for reflexive, we added C, C. Then, we also added D comma 
D. Then we also added C, comma, A. Now let's write down what is already existing in R, which are A, comma, A, B, comma, B, and A, comma, C. The four C, comma, C, D, comma, D, and C, comma, A need to be added to make or an equivalence relation. Question number three. Let A is equal to ABC and R is equal to AA, BB, AC, which are ordered pairs. Write down the minimum number of ordered pairs to be included to make to to R to make it reflexive, symmetric, transitive, and equivalence. This is very similar to our previous problem. So we will do a quick work. So to make it reflexive, we know that we have to have C and C. So let's say C and C need to be included to make it reflexive. Then we have AC, but we don't have CA. So CA, so A here, need to be included to make it symmetric. Then we have seen that you don't need to add anything to make it transitive. So nothing to be added to make it transitive. Then the last is we need to add CC and CA to make it equivalence. So CC and CA need to be included to make it equivalence. Question number four. Let P be the set of all triangles in a plane and R be the relationship defined on P as A is related to B if A is similar to B. Prove that R is an equivalence relationship. So let's start with the first one first. So what is given to us? That P is equal to set of all triangles in a plane. Okay. And the relationship is given by A related to B would mean A is similar to B. Okay, so let's take the first one. The first case for reflexive. So for reflexive, A or A is true since A, the triangle A, is similar to A. Then let's go for the second one. So you can say it is, this implies, it is reflexive. Then the second condition is, A or B should imply B or A is also true if A is similar 
to B, then B is similar to A. If triangle A is similar to B, then B is also similar to triangle A. Therefore, it is symmetric. Then let's go to the third relationship. So you can just underline these words. Now A, let's say that A is related to B and or A is similar to B and B is similar to C. So this will imply that A is similar to C. In other words, if A is similar to B and B is similar to C, then this would imply A is similar to C, right? So you have the triangle A, triangle B, and triangle C. A is similar to B and B is similar to C. So A will be similar to A is similar to B and B is similar to C. Then A will be similar to C. The four, this implies it is transitive. Now, since it's since the relationship relation is reflexive symmetric and transitive it is a and equivalence relation question number five on the set of natural numbers let r be the relation between defined by a or b if 2a plus 3b is equal to 30 write down the relation by listing all the pairs check whether it is reflexive symmetric transitive and equivalence so what is given to us is that set of all natural numbers so we can say n is defined by natural numbers so we can say n is set of all natural numbers next the relationship r is defined by a related to B would mean 2A plus 3B is equal to 30. So what we need to do is we need to find all the set of ordered pairs for this relationship. Now let's do some work here. So given is 2A plus 3B is equal to 30, which means our b will be equal to 30 minus 2a divided by 3. So whatever we get here should be divisible by 3. Only then it's a natural number because natural number will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So it has to be a natural number. So what are the natural numbers that we can get? Now, it should be 30 minus 2a. So, if you put our a to be equal to 3, then the b will be equal to 30 minus 6, which is 24 by 3 will be 8. And if we put our a to be 6, then 12, 30 minus 12 will be 18, divided by 3 will be, again, 6. And if we put our a to be equal to 9, 9 twos are 18, so it's 12 by 3, so b will be 
4. And if we put our a to be 12, then this is 24. a is 12. 24. So 30 minus 24 is 6. So b will be 2. If we go a to be 15, then 30 minus 30 will be 0. And 0 is not a natural number. Therefore, our r is defined as the ordered pairs 3 comma 8, 6 comma 6, 9 comma 4, and 12 comma 2. Now let's, let's test for whether it's reflexive. So the first condition is each element, each ordered pair or each element should be related to itself. So we have 3 comma 8, but what we don't have is 3 comma 3 does not belong to R. So 3 is not related to 3. This implies it's, it is not reflexive. The second condition, let's say that 3 is related to 8. This belongs to R. But for symmetric, 3, should, 3 is related to 8. 8 should be related to 3. We don't have 8, 3 does not belong to R. This implies it is not symmetric. Now for the third condition, third relation, which is transitive. So we have 3 3 related to 8, but 8 is not related to anything. So, you know, we don't have to check for transitive in this. 6 is related to 6, and 6 is not related to anything else within here. So, this will satisfy the transitive. 9 is related to 4, but 4 is not related to anything. Similarly, 12 is related to 2, and 2 is not related to anything. The 4 R is transitive. Now, for the last one, which is equivalence, since it's not reflexive and not symmetric, R is not equivalence. Thank you for watching Math Tutorial Anand. Please like. And uh, you can comment if you have any questions and do not forget to subscribe to get more videos like this.